Because the very thing you think disqualifies you is what makes you what God is looking for. Morehouse, I got to go. Um, let me see if I can close. I, uh, I, like, I like to cook. That, 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 that's, that's my hobby. I, I like to cook. And I learned a long time ago, whatever I like to eat, I know how to cook. I want to learn how to fry chicken. Because I really like fried chicken, so I called my dad, who was the best fried chicken fryer I ever knew. So I called my dad, I said, Dad, how do you fry chicken? He said, son, this is what you do. Go down to the store and get you some fried chicken pieces. Get you some legs and some thighs and some wings. So go home and soak that chicken in water and clean it. And after you clean the chicken, get you some tweezers and some scissors because you got to pluck some of the other feathers out. Because ain't nothing worse than fried chicken with a side of fried feathers. He said, after you clean the chicken and pluck the feathers, he says, season the chicken. You don't need much, a little salt, a little pepper, a little lowries. He said, now put you some flour in the bag and put some seasoning in the flour because if you fall off the chicken, you'll catch it in the flour. I'm trying to help y'all. I'm trying to help you. He said, then, then, then get you a skillet and pour your oil in it. Now he said, you can use all that healthy canola, olive if you want, but if you want to fry it right, you got to get some of that old lard that you scoop out of He said, now let your oil get hot, put your chicken in, turn the heat down a little bit because you don't want it to brown too fast because it'll be brown on the outside and red on the inside. He said, and let it cook, and when it begins to float, you know it's done. See, you didn't know that. You, you, you didn't know. When chicken floats, it's done on the inside. I told you I'm trying to help you today. He said, turn the heat back up and let it brown, and then your chicken will be done. I followed my dad's directions. I bought the chicken, I cleaned the chicken, I plucked the chicken, I seasoned the chicken, I seasoned the flour, I used the lard, but the chicken just didn't come out right. So he said, son, next time you come home, let's fry chicken together. So I went home to see my dad and we went to the store. We bought us some legs, some thighs, and some wings. We went home, we soaked the chicken, we washed the chicken. Took the chicken out with some tweezers and scissors and we plucked the chicken. We seasoned the chicken. A little salt, a little pepper, a little lowries. We put some lowries in the flour because if you fall off the chicken, you catch it in the flour. <laughs> My dad went to get the lard and he said, son, you go get the skillet. So I looked underneath the sink and I found Mama's brand new Teflon coated, shiny skillet. Miss Wilson ain't got a scratch on it. It's beautiful. You can almost see your face in it. I set that skillet down, and my dad brought the lard back, and he looked at me. He said, son, what is that? I said, that's the cutest skillet I can find. He said, son, you can't fry chicken right in that skillet. That skillet is too cute. That skillet is too pretty. That skillet ain't never been scratched. That skillet ain't never been burned. That skillet ain't never been through nothing. You can't use that skillet. You got to find that black, cast iron, handed down, been through the fire, been scratched and scored, because that's what I can use. Goodbye 2016. But that's what the Lord is looking for. Some brothers that have been 